you're trying to connect your make account to your personal Gmail email and you get the notification big red box that's what we're going to solve right now it takes a few steps follow them one by one and you'll be up and running in no time the first thing that we want to do is go to console.developers.google.com and the link will be in the description as well all right and now we end up here at google cloud api and services we need to add a few uh, services and apis in order to allow make to send emails through our personal gmail the first step that we need to do is create a project and you do that come right up here and click this you will probably see some default uh, leave that what you want to do is click new project and let's give it a name so we will say make gmail connection something of the sort doesn't really matter it will be unique but you want to be able to identify it go ahead and create and you'll see things happening there now make sure that this right here is the new account project that you want and it should show a whole bunch of things here but every uh, setup is slightly different so in case you don't double check that this is the name you want next go to enable apis and here you're going to type gmail and you will get two options you want gmail api and again with the two choose the top one gmail api and enable once that's done now we need to create an oauth consent screen so click that and we'll have a bit of information to fill out nothing's too complicated now the first thing is deciding user type in this case we want external and any test user with a Google account. We will set your email that you want to work as the test user and only yours so no one will have any other activity access. Okay, so click external, create. Next, we need to name it. I like to name them pretty close. Uh, there's several places, it just makes life a lot easier. Okay. The next thing is your user support email. I use the same email in all the instances here that I'm using in Make. That way there's no hassle. You could add a logo and domain. We don't need any of that. But for authorized domains, we need two. We need make.com and integromat.com. That's the previous company name that may can and they still use that domain in some instances next is the is the next is the developer contact information i'm going to use the same email this is in case they need to provide some kind of notification that will go to this email save and continue now we need to add scopes notice there are none currently so click add scopes come to filter and just go ahead and type in gmail start to type in gmail and you will see gmail api that way the only options on page one and two are gmail now looking at the list we need mail.google.com dot modify dot compose dot read only dot metadata dot insert and then I believe for most of us if you go to the next page dot send and dot labels and click update now you will see your non-sensitive sensitive and restricted scopes just confirm they're there and click save and continue. The next thing you need to do is 
set up a test user. These are the only people that can access this API. And in this case, it will only be you. The same email that you've been using all along. Okay. AI automation elite dot <laughs> at gmail.com. And we will add that. And we will save, make sure that it's here. Automation elite.com. Okay. And once you're at the OAuth consent screen, you can confirm that all that information is good. Now we need to go and set up our OAuth credentials. So click credentials and then up here at the top, create credentials and OAuth client ID. For application type, web application, I'm going to name it the same thing again, Gmail connection. That way it makes it easy to track. We don't have to worry about authorized JavaScript, but for authorized redirect, we need to add a URI. And that is HTTPS uh, colon slash slash www.integromat.com forward slash OAuth forward slash C, that is Charlie Bravo CB, and then Google dash restricted. This will also be in the description, so you can just copy and paste. Looks good. And so you have your OAuth client created, which will be your client ID and your client secret. We will need these back in make. So let's head there now. Now we want to set up and test. So the best way to do that is just go to a create a new scenario and click in here. And the first thing we want to do is Gmail watch emails. Okay, so now you're at this screen, this dreaded screen here. So we'll start with add. Let's give it a name, make Gmail connection. Now, before you move forward, this is critical. Come down here, show advanced settings. And now we need that client and that secret. So we come back over here, copy the client, paste that, come back over here, copy the secret and paste that and sign in. Now it's going to say Google hasn't verified that app. Uh, this app, you're the developer who invited you. So click continue and continue. And then check this box to make sure that you have the proper privileges and continue. Now it's verifying. Once you see this happen, you're in good shape. 